this can never happen again. Do I make myself clear? No, don't even say anything. I don't want to hear it. Do you even know how close I came to losing you tonight? One second later, one sit more and you'd be dead. Is that what you want? No, I'm not going to stop. I didn't ask you to play the hero. I told you to avoid taking risks, to keep your profile low, not to intercept a wine glass meant for me and drink it to prove there was poison in it. When you went down... I don't care if you don't have any regrets. You weren't the one to pick up the pieces. You weren't the one waiting by your bedside hoping that you'd open your eyes again. Of course I'm hangry. You think I'm made of stone or something? What the fuck were you thinking, huh? What in the world inspired you to play hero when you have no training whatsoever? No, you don't. What if you'd been wrong, huh? What if your body was weaker than you thought? What if I hadn't gotten an antidote on time? It doesn't matter if you trusted me to figure it out. Jesus Christ, do you understand how lucky you are right now? If anything had gone wrong, any tiny thing, you'd be dead. Dead. Gone. Good, because I think it deserves to be repeated. I'm trained for situations like this. You're just there to handle tech. You should have never been in the field like that. No, you shouldn't have. Because you made a risky, stupid choice, and it's only by some miracle that you're alive right now. I'm the field agent. I'm prepared to make the risks. I'm the one with the poison resistance and the hand-to-hand -hand training. If anyone should have had that wine, it was me. It doesn't matter if we got the guy in the end. We could have gotten him for something else and then added the poisonings onto it. You should know that. You're the tech person. You still don't get it? I'm not lecturing you because you're a tech person. I'm lecturing you because I almost lost you. And that scared the shit out of me. My whole career here, you've been the voice on the other end of the line, guiding me, calming me, making sure I survived missions and getting me out of sticky situations. Ever since I first joined the agents, you were my port in the storm, my safe harbor. I had the training, yeah, but you saw the whole picture. You saved me more times than I could count. And tonight, tonight that could have all ended. I was against you coming out in the field. It has nothing to do with that. I was against it because it terrified me, okay? The thought of you getting hurt and me being nowhere to help, it tore me up. I mean, how do you think I ended up here, huh? You think it was mere coincidence the agency sent me here, too? No, they sent me because I demanded it. Because I had to make sure you were safe. And tonight, I failed. No, don't. It doesn't matter why you did it. I don't want to hear about your pure intentions. It doesn't change the fact that you took the hit meant for me. That you fell lifelessly into my arms. It doesn't erase that memory from my mind. <sighs> 48 hours. That's how long I had to find the antidote. That's what the docs told me. 48 hours, and that was after the 6 hours it took to figure out what poison you'd even ingested. So that brings us down to 42 hours. We lost another four tracking down which company would hold the antidote because it was such a new poison. 38 hours. 5 hours to fly across the country to break in and steal the antidote. 
33 hours. The recon took three hours and that was rushed. 30 hours. Two hours for prep. Down to 28 hours. The break-in luckily went off without a hitch and only took an hour. Then another five hours back, so 22 hours remaining. That's only because everything went well. If their security had been tighter, if I had made a mistake, it could have taken a lot longer. And you'd be dead. But you didn't think about that. No. You just played the hero. Listen to me. You're not a hero. You never will be a hero. Heroes don't exist. They're saps who die for stupid causes and then they're forgotten about. If you had died tonight, I'd be cursing your name. I don't care if it's harsh. You need to hear this. If things had gone south, if you had died. Because you mattered to me. Do you remember my first job? It was a shit show. Intel was wrong, tech person was wrong. A lot of people died. Me too, almost. I made it back to headquarters with blood everywhere, and I was waiting for the debrief. That's when I noticed you. We weren't even working together yet. You met my gaze and you brought me a towel. You weren't even scared. You asked if I was hurt, and then you wiped the blood from my brow. No one has ever done that before. And then we started working together, and you were incredible. Nothing ever seemed to get under your skin. Nothing ever seemed to throw you. Even when that crazy job in Sweden went sideways, you never panicked. You got me through. I can't do this job without you. I can't. I can't live my life without you. I thought I was fine with the way things were. Better to just keep things simple, right? But when you went down, I thought it was it. You were gone. That you had just left me and I hadn't even told you how I was... How I was hopelessly in love with you. How I had been from the first second I met you. Don't say anything. I don't need a response. You just need to know. If this fucks things up, we can deal with it later, but for right now, I just need you to know. I love you so much. And that's why I freaked out. That's why I'm mad. Because I'm the one supposed to take hits for you, not the other way around. I'm the one who signed on for the field work, not you. <laughs> yeah, well, if you were up for almost 72 hours straight, you'd look pretty shitty, too. Glad to see your sense of humor is still intact. I don't know. Do we need to think about tomorrow? For right now, can we just be here? With each other? Tomorrow you can reject me or tell me off or say you hate my guts, but for tonight, I just need to see you talking and breathing. Good. I know, and I will. I may just nap in this chair. No, I don't think I could leave. Not right now. Sorry, you're stuck with me. <laughs> oh, shut up. You're tired. Yeah, you are. Don't fight it. The doc said your body needs time to recover. So rest. We can fight tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere. I told you. 
You're safe. No one is getting in this room without me knowing. So, relax. Sleep. Is it annoying? Sorry. My little sister used to get nightmares when we were kids. The only thing that used to calm her down was me humming. I can stop- Okay. I'll keep going if you close your eyes. You need to rest. Good night. Mm-hmm.